YouTube family. It's cold, windy. It's at 32 degrees, but it's just like a little windy out. Okay. Let's go. Can't forget these. Go. Oh, and and this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Facing fears, facing fears, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'll, I'll explain what I'm talking about here in a minute, but first, I'm gonna take this Skechers Razor 3. That's right, I'm publishing two videos today. Uh, the second one is gonna be all about the Razor 3s and how I anticipate using these shoes in 2019 after putting some miles into them. And yes, we have an outside perspective from another viewer who's gonna give his opinion, so stay tuned for that. Uh, in the second video publishing today, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, but uh, so, Let's go. I'm going to put 10 miles into them today and then uh, we're going to come back to the track and have a little conversation. Have a, it's freezing. That's all I got. I tell you what, it is a life skill teaching yourself how to tie your running shoes in the winter with gloves on. Good life skill to have, just saying, just saying. I know, I know, YouTube family, that I have to run faster. I have to run faster. That is the title of today's run on Strava. I just know it, and guess what? I can't believe it. I feel like February 1st was yesterday. We are almost halfway through February, and I could not be more excited, because what does that mean? March, April, May. March, April, May, which means the marathon is it's not quite 90 days away, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And oh man, today was the first day I wanted to go a little faster, just a little faster in 2019. And so that's what I did. And yes, the Skechers Razor 3s. And I'm going to talk about the run, the distance, the pace, and how the Razor 3s did in the second video Whew. today. Oh yeah. And now, time to face some fears. Time to face some fears. Oh, baby.
Facing fears, everyone. Facing fears. You know the key word is fear today. Oh man, 2019, it's gonna be a great year. If we can rise up, and yes, at times, at times, not all the time, but at times, face our fears. That's what I uh, began to scrape back the surface on today. Uh, here, <laughs> I'll explain what I was just running on. Facing our fears. Facing our fears, YouTube, in 2019. That's right. Uh, I wanted to bring this topic up about a month ago, uh, earlier in the year, but it slipped through the cracks, and so now I'm just revisiting this thought that I had a month ago about facing our fears as runners, as people in this world, engaging with the culture, engaging with our work, our school, uh, whatever the case may be, whatever stage in life you are in, um, I think, as runners, we have a leg up on everybody else in facing fears of this world and in train through our training through our racing and through frankly our discipline because as runners a lot of times the accountability comes down to us you know maybe you have a coach maybe you don't but after high school after college like there's a there's a good chance you're going to be running solo and so the accountability to get out the door falls to us okay why did i go to the track today with a broom where there's you know there's about three or four inches of snow left on the ground it's quickly melting in denver but there was snow there and i i had a i had a suspicion the snow would still be there i wasn't positive though and i almost brought a shovel and just so you know i am uh a lot of tracks in denver are closed to the public and i'm like in buena vista where i grew up in Col buena vista colorado uh, the track was open. You just went and used it. Like it was. I I regret that I did not use the track more in Buena Vista when it was just totally open. You didn't have to reserve it. You didn't have to have a key to get in. You just went and you used it. Well, now in the big city, there's more rules, more regulations, and so I have yet to discover a really great uh, Mondo track in Denver that is just straight up open to the public at any time. Actually, if you know of any local Denver folks, let me know. In the meantime, though, in South Denver near Harvard Gulch Park, there's this old dirt track. You saw it today. You saw the mud. And basically, I think it used to be attached to a school, but now it's just sitting there. And nobody, well, you know who uses it? The people use it to walk their dogs and let them do their business out there. So I'm like, what I'm thinking now, in 2019, that dirt track, which is beautiful, because now it's gonna save my legs a little bit, because believe it or not, running on Mondo tracks is a little harder because there's concrete underneath the rubber, that, that rubberized Mondo. Uh, so, I'm really excited to get back out there once the snow is gone. But why did I go there with mud, with snow? Let me explain. I went to that track today to begin to face my fear. What is my fear? I'm just, I'm, here it is, here it is. I, not as much anymore, but in college especially, when I was training with future Olympians, okay? Future Olymp, uh, many guys that went on to, to race at the Olympic trials and the 5K, steeplechase, 10K, I had some fears going to the track to do interval work with those guys. Now listen, on the long run at Magnolia Road at 8,000 feet above sea level with 3,000 feet of vertical gain or 2,000, whatever it is, I had no fear. No fear of the long run with those future Olympians. But on the track with Mark Wetmore standing by and here is an old, just to show you, here's an old booklet from the CU days. Like this is our, I guess it'd be the uh, the team, uh, what would you call this? Just the team booklet. It has all the runners in here with our records and uh, so, like even these two guys on the front cover, Steven Pfeiffer, Brent Vaughn, they went on to compete at the Olympic trials. They didn't make the Olympics, but all I'm saying is I had fear of interval training on the track. And I did okay. I held my own, but it definitely is not my strength. 
which is probably why I'm a little fearful. And so that's something to think about in your life and your training and your running. Like if there's something that isn't your strength, you might be a little timid and that's okay. But the key is to recognize that you're timid by that exercise, by that, uh, that distance of running, that uh, set of interval workouts, and face the fear. So, but how do you face fear in your world? There's a lot of, there's, okay, and I'm not a psychologist. I just want to put that out there right now. But I know of no better way than to face it head on, but to ease into it. Okay, so for example, I would much rather run in the mountains every single day, getting four to 6,000 feet of vertical gain that does not scare me at all. That light lights a fire in me. Going to the track and doing eight by one K repeats with 90 seconds rest. Yeah, that scares the bejesus out of me. And so when it came to the speed work on the track with the CU cross country, although we didn't go to the track too much in cross country, but definitely in the track season, I just had anxiety inside me. But now, in 2019 i'm recognizing that because guess what i'm ex like running a four running a 450 per mile 5k i don't know if i can quite do that right now like not right now but like in 2019 that scares me really like averaging 450 uh miles for a 5k 520 miles for 26 miles doesn't scare me as much i know it's going to be hard it's going to be difficult it's going to be painful as all get out but I am way more excited about 520 pace versus 450 pace. And therefore, today, I went to the track to, to begin, not to face the fear and just like knock it to the curb because it takes time to overcome a fear, okay? You can't just expect to snap your finger and be over it. So I went to the track day to track today to begin going around that loop because I know I'm going to have to get faster and do faster training in 2019 if I want to break, yeah, 219 in the marathon. I have no idea if I can do it, but I'm going to try. And in, in order to get that goal, in order to meet that goal, I know I got to do some faster training on the track. Not too much, but a little bit, a little bit. And so today was the beginning of that process of just getting my mental state ready for that circular uh, oval type workout where I'm doing like three by three Ks with, you know, three minutes rest or whatever the case, just like good, solid track workouts. And frankly, I would love to do some workouts with like five to 10 guys or, and ladies, but just like get a good group. Like, I, okay. Can you tell I've been watching some, uh, uh, some documentaries on the East African runners. Like I'm just watching them train on these tracks and they're just like in a pack of 10, 15 guys just crushing it on this dirt track. And I'm like, oh, that looks so much fun. And so anyway, that's what I'm doing today. That's how I'm facing my fear in 2019 is just dipping my toe onto the muddy, snowy track. Oh, baby. And again, the key word is fear. And the question of the day, what do you fear in running? in training or in racing if you could pick all three you could pick one of those what is your greatest fear and don't tell me you don't have any fears all right whatever and you could think outside the box like get like really just stop and think for a minute what are you fearful of and for me yeah it's intervals on the track um yeah 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 seek beauty work hard and love each other don't forget Video two, publishing at 3 p.m. Mountain Time today, all about the Skechers Razor 3.